Hey, we're going to spend a few minutes and wanted to quickly show how easy it is to replace a burn pot in your Traeger grill. So I've got a BBQ 075, I believe it is, which is a 34 inch. And that one has a burn pot that is all the way roached through. And I put a new one in. So you can see how bad a shape this guy was in. See how wonderful that new shiny one looks. So we're going to spend a few minutes. Uh, this is a little job that probably only take you, oh, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes to be able to do and will make a big difference for you. So take a look and watch how we do it. We're going to replace two things here today. First is going to be the burn pot. So you can see in here, this burn pot has got a lot of holes in it, uh, a lot of gaps, just missing metal there. And we're going to need to replace that. Plus, there's a hot rod probably buried deep inside there. We're going to have to find that and replace that as well. So, first step is we're just going to unscrew this old one. There are four screws, one in each corner that we're going to remove. to be able to pull the hot rod out of that pot. There you go. So the, there's the burn pot, what's left of it. And here's that hot rod. And what the hot rod does is it basically ignites the pellets. Here's what the new burn pot looks like. So you can see where that's got a lot, a lot of good metal all the way around. That's in good shape. So we're going to insert this back in the place of where the other one was. So before we put that burn pot back, we're going to make sure to clean out all the stuff down in there. We'll just insert this hot rod down in here. See, we're going to leave it stick out a little bit. We can tighten this down. Make sure that's snug. And Position that new burn pot in place. That's positioned in. We've got the screws to be able to put that in. And you can see where the old auger comes through, drops pellets down into the bottom here. I've got to put the screws in. There are four screws that kind of hold the corners here. And then down in the bottom, this little piece right down there is the hot rod. So the hot rod is how the pellets get ignited. It glows red and generates heat and that starts the pellets and goes for about the first 10 minutes or so of the cook. And again with our quarter inch 
saw bit here, we're just going to tighten these all down and our job is going to be complete. There you go. That was the bad one. Boy, that's nasty. Well used. And now we've got the new one in place. And just like that, we are out with the old, in with the new. That's just a few steps on how to replace the burn pot on your Traeger grill. Not a difficult thing to do, only takes you about 10 minutes or so. And it's a good opportunity to really clean up your grill, make sure it's performing at its best. So, next thing to do is figure out what you're going to cook in your backyard this weekend. Make sure it's something good.